Okay. And so this first one around is pretty easy. Um, we're just going to be getting ourselves some raw meat. And then I believe afterwards we have to cook the meat into some sort of steak. Um, nice part about this game is when you check your item screen, you'll be given uh, little icons of what it is you're trying to get. So if you're familiar with Monster Hunter, you should actually just be able to more or less puzzle out exactly what it is you're supposed to get. I'll we'll demonstrate that in just a moment. So you see here, uh, those are both meats, as I knew they'd both be meats. I'm not sure which one is well done and which one is rare, though. But we're given a little spit, so we know we're definitely going to need that. And so let's go ahead and get ourselves some meat. Some people really like the new running animation. I think it's okay, I guess. It's a little different. Cinematography is of course still still pretty great. Just about every monster in the game now will get some small introduction, more or less like this. I don't know if I'm going to be elite enough to actually be able to take that ape enough down, although I'm pretty sure they're telling me to run after them. They're not going to get very far if they get away. They're just going to get to the next area. They might have been immortal during that little cutscene. They didn't even flinch. Now something new about the sword and shield is it gets a little dash attack. It's no longer uh, the leaping attack. That's the X and Y we saw there. Now just a little disclaimer. I hope to get a lot more practice with all the weapons. Um, I haven't yet had the opportunity to really practice them all and figure out how the new movesets work. I've done it for the bug staff. I've done it for the charge axe. The, new, the two new weapons I, I'm pretty confident with. Uh, Lance as well. Bow guns have pretty much unchanged, so I'm not too concerned about those. But certainly the sword and shield I'm a little iffy on. Like I just did an attack now that I, I, I had no idea even existed. I did some sort of backwards dash with A when I was comboing. Which is cool. I mean, I, I heard it had the ability to counter now. Um, haven't haven't really had the opportunity to test it out, but um, you know, as I'm going through the game, I'll be using multiple level appropriate weapons on the different monsters. Um, as time goes on, I, I'm hoping I'll get better with them and figure out the little nuances so I can actually create tutorials for them. So I guess at any time you can kind of hit A and backwards, and you do kind of like this little backwards dash and you can just keep comboing like that. That's what that is. That's really interesting. Huh. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. Okay, so we have two options. We could make ourselves a uh, rare steak or a well done steak. Uh, we just know for sure that it's not a burnt steak. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a well done steak first and then we'll try and make a, a rare steak. Okay, so the goal is make a well done steak. But if we wanted to make a rare steak, we could. So we'll make a rare steak. So we'll just, I always just zoom in the camera super close to tell when the colors changed. That one I actually couldn't even tell the color changed. It's not easy seeing the screen. It's <laughs> it's not all that big. 
Resolution is not all that high. I think we're somewhere around the range of 400 by 320 pixels. Not, not perfect. Um, but I'm sure many of you will be excited to see that the inclusion of some quests are back. So, I actually finished the quest by delivering the rare steak. That's okay. We'll keep the well done steak for ourselves. We might need it later. You see there's jumping attacks now. You'll certainly see a lot more of those when I actually get around to big monsters. This uh, first update here, I'll, I'll try to push through until I actually get to fight a big monster. Not sure that I'll be able to or not yet, though. So actually, we traded in a rare steak, but we got a well-done steak in the rewards. Could be the world's worst conversion. Okay, let's talk to the boss again. Okay, so what he's asking for now is a Mega Potion. So this is going to give us the opportunity to gather ourselves a couple materials. We need to gather, of course, a herb. We need to gather a blue mushroom, and we need to gather some honey. So we'll go through this pretty quickly. Doesn't shouldn't take very long at all. <laughs> that little question there that she's asking, she's just saying, "Do you want me to repeat myself?" The answer is, of course, no. <laughs> No thanks. Okay, so first thing to get is an herb. Should be pretty easy. Just get it right here. Okay. It, it's easy because they even ping it on your little mini map. So you'd have to be pretty dense to notice that it's not <laughs> available for you to gather. I see even stepping up things is just... I think they, they really wanted there to be 3D in this game, but at the same time they wanted to make it as inoffensive as possible. And so they did all these little things here that would just make it super easy to do. Like climbing, you grab on and you could just jump up. Like I'll show you climbing, jump. Wow, that's not hard at all. See? Climbing, jump. I was actually having the conversation with somebody at one of the meetups over uh, climbing in Monster Hunter Roar versus climbing in uh, Freedom Unite. Probably do more time climbing in Freedom Unite. Oops, that was the wrong one. Oh uh, yeah, second option from the top is combined. Um, you spend more time climbing the uh, glacial peaks in, in Freedom Unite, maybe, than you'll spend climbing in Monster Hunter 4 at all, even though it's a core mechanic in Monster Hunter 4. I think it's because they just wanted to make it as easy as possible. Okay, then here's our little honey gathering spot. You'll see there's a little beehive's nest over here. And you almost expect an Arzuros to pop out here. Instead, it's, it's your friend and my, the Jaggies. No great Jaggy yet, though. And so we'll take them out with what skills we have. 
Now the fun part about that little dash back, it's like, I think it's almost like even intended uh, to just quickly dodge an attack because it looks like when you when you move back with it, you just move back more or less the same exact distance as you would uh, that you moved back with your dash forward. Okay, so that was a sub-quest that I completed to kill those Jaggies. Although it wasn't unlike the other uh, complete via sub-quest, it didn't actually end the mission. And it might actually be a good idea to, to gather a little extra honey here. I think we determined that this quest almost has unlimited honey. So if you wanted to gather a bunch here, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Just to have, I mean, you get the ability to farm honey like you would uh, other resources in all the other games. But it's good to have a nice stock to begin with, especially when you start fighting large monsters and you want to be able to have those mega potions. Okay, nine will do. And we're actually going to need some Kelby horns later. So if you want to go ahead and grab a couple, you can actually finish another quest really early just by, just by grabbing some right here. At the very least, you'll, you'll be able to recognize the characters later on. Kind of tell the... Um, that little symbol there at the end there, I believe, is horn. Okay, and then just bring the Mega Potion back to the red box. And deliver it. Just going straight through the commands. It's really just like, oh, I don't want to get hit, I'll attack. I'll have to play around with it a bit more. Okay, interesting item in the rewards. This little pink jar here. This is bug food. You can use this to feed your bug. I guess I'll bring the bug staff the next quest just to show it off a little bit. And these are some bird wyvern fangs gotten from defeating the little jaggies, little subquest reward. <laughs> 